You're watching Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz, Haley Harmon, and your forecast with meteorologist Dylan Godet. ABC 36 on your side. Welcome into Motorsports Monday. Before the storms rolled through Sunday evening, it was a beautiful weekend for racing across the Commonwealth. I traveled down to Richmond Raceway where the super late model modified super stocks and Hornet classes were all in action. Fans were having a fun time in the pits ahead of qualifying and the heat races. It was the Hugh Jumbug Roland Memorial Night at the track. His family was honored ahead of the features and it was a, a great uh, chance for that family to be recognized. Fans packed the grandstands and the drivers gave an old fashioned four wide salute getting the Heart of America Ultimate Super Late Models race underway. That looked uh, really cool there. They do that on short tracks across the country. Tristan Chamberlain started on the pole position and led early on. Then fan favorite Dustin Linville and Josh Rice tangled on the track, resulting in both of the hard chargers getting mired in the back. That was a little bit of controversy there. Max Chilton gained the lead on, the lap, on lap 11 and would pace the field for the rest of the night, leading the final 30 laps of this one. Chilton Chilton claimed the $5,000 purse and ender earned his first victory of the season, his second career series win. Here's a look at the rest of the top five from the Junebug Roland Memorial. Tyler Carpenter, West Virginia AF, came in second after charging late. Justin Ratliff, James Rice, and Greg Johnson round out the top five of that one. The Modifieds, the UMP Modifieds, hit the track following the Super Late Models for their 20-lap feature. It was a contested race throughout with drivers uh, Kyle Cochran in the 26, Dennis, Dennis Roberson in the 01, and Zach Powers in the 33, putting on a show, battling for the top spot. At the end of the day, Richmond's Kyle Cochran got the win. This was Cochran's first ever feature win and he was definitely excited climbing out of the car of this one. Look at that. He is uh, all pumped up stepping out of the car there. Here's a look at the rest of the top five. Paris's Dennis Roberson came in second. Zach Powers, D David Adams, and Tyler Rigsby rounding out the top five there. And in the Super Stocks, Berea, Berea's Jimmy Robinson captured the checkered flag with Raymond Fusion coming, uh, getting the win in the four-cylinder Hornets. I spoke with super late model driver Dustin Linville ahead of the races Saturday night about the fan experience at these local short tracks. It's it's a hidden secret, man. I mean, it's it's a good family friendly environment for uh, you know bring your bring your family and friends out and uh, just enjoy a night at the racetrack. Dustin Linville, or Rooster as the fans dub him, has uh, been racing across the region for over a decade and is actually a three-time winner of that uh, Junebug Roland Memorial. And we'll want to say Richmond Raceway, one of those areas, looked like was significant damage I from know. the storms last mm -hmm. night. So we're really thinking about the owners there. Um, uh, the uh, yeah, Lapinos family, they yeah. treated me so well this weekend, let me get access to the whole track. Uh, so really thinking about them, hopefully keeping you updated on if they need any help potentially with recovering from this. Yeah, after such a great weekend there, you hate to see the damage there and at many other spots in Richmond and Madison County as yes, well today. Absolutely. So yes, we're thinking of you. 655, stay with us. You're watching Good Morning Kentucky. We'll be right back.